Hello students, this is Sri Budani. Today I will teach you Laplace sum sum of derivatives and integrals. So what is Laplace sum sum of derivatives? If Laplace of f of t equals to f of s, then Laplace of f dash t, that is equals to s f of s minus f of 0. And Laplace of f double dash t, that is equals to s square f of s minus s f of 0 minus f dash 0. Similarly, if you will follow this same pattern, you will be in a position to write down Laplace of f triple dash t. And that is equals to s cube f of s minus s square f of 0 minus s f dash 0 minus f double dash 0. In general, we have Laplace of nth derivative of f of t equals to s raised to n f of s minus s raised to n minus 1 f of 0 minus s raised to n minus 2 f dash 0 minus s raised to n minus 3 f double dash 0 minus dash 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 minus f of n minus 1 derivative at 0. Now we will see the proof of Laplace sum sum of derivatives with the help of fundamental definition of Laplace sum sum that is Laplace of f t equals to integration from 0 to infinite e raised to minus s t f t dt. Now in this fundamental definition of Laplace transform, we will replace f of t by f dash t. So it will become Laplace of f dash t equals to integration from 0 to infinite e raised to minus st f dash t dt. Now we will integrate this function using integrating by parts. We will take e raised to minus st as u and f dash t as v. So e raised to minus st as it is and integration of f dash t result is f of t and the limit is 0 to infinite. Then after minus sign integration from 0 to infinite derivative of e raised to minus st that is minus s e raised to minus st and integration of f of f dash t the result is f of t dt. Now over here you have to put upper limit infinite and lower limit 0. For upper limit infinite, it will become e raised to minus infinite. And e raised to minus infinite is 0. And this function of t is defined for all t greater than or equal to 0. So this is going to be some finite value. And some finite value multiplied by 0, the result is 0. Then after minus sign, and for lower limit, it will become e raised to 0. And e raised to 0 is 1 into f of 0. So the result is minus f of 0. So minus minus plus s integration from 0 to infinite e raised to minus st f t dt and integration from 0 to infinite e raised to minus st f t dt that is nothing but Laplace of f t and this one as as it is and minus f0 that will be also as it is. So we have Laplace of f dash t equals to minus f0 plus s Laplace of f t. In the left hand side we have first time derivative and in the right hand side we have no derivatives. So similarly if in the left hand side we will be having second order derivative then in the right hand side we will be having first order derivatives. So similarly we have Laplace of f double dash t that is equals to minus f dash 0 plus s Laplace of f dash t. Now replacing Laplace of f dash t by minus f of 0 plus s Laplace of f t. So we have Laplace of f double dash t that is equals to minus f dash 0 plus s and this is Laplace of f dash t that is minus f of 0 plus s Laplace of f t. Now minus f dash 0 as it is plus minus minus s into f of 0 plus into plus plus s into s s square into Laplace of f of t. So in general we can write down Laplace of nth derivative of f of t that is equals to s raised to n f of s minus s raised to n minus 1 f of 0 minus s raised to n minus 2 f dash 0 minus s raised to n minus 3 f double dash 0 minus dash 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 minus f of n minus 1 order derivative at 0. So this is the proof of Laplace transform of derivatives. Now we will see some examples related to 
this topic. Example number one is find Laplace of f of t and Laplace of f dash t of f of t equals to 3 when t is between 0 to 5 and it is 0 when t is greater than 5. So first of all we will find out Laplace of f of t using fundamental definition of Laplace transform. So Laplace of f of t equals to f of s and that is equals to integration from 0 to infinite e raised to minus st f of t dt. Now we have to apply break at 5. So integration from 0 to infinite it will become integration from 0 to 5 plus integration from 5 to infinite. e raised to minus st will be as it is and for t between 0 to 5 we have f of t equals to 3 and for t greater than 5 we have f of t equals to 0. So this term will become 0 and we have to integrate e raised to minus st with respect to t. And integration of e raised to minus st result is e raised to minus st by minus s and the limit is from 0 to 5 and this 3 will be as it is. Now put down the upper limit 5 and the lower limit 0 so it will become e raised to minus 5s and for lower limit it will become e raised to 0 and that will be 1 and then after this minus 3 will be as it is and divided by s. So this is nothing but Laplace of f of t. Now we have to find out Laplace of f dash t. So Laplace of f dash t that is according to the formula s f of s minus f of 0. So f of s this is f of s. If you will multiply this function by minus sign so it will become 3 by s into bracket 1 minus e raised to minus 5s. So f of s is 3 by 5 into bracket 1 minus e raised to minus 5s and this one s will be as it is minus f of 0. So we have to find out f of 0. So for t equals to 0 we have f of 0 equals to 3. So value of f of 0 is 3. Now this one s and s will cancel out. 3 into 1 answer is 3 then after minus 3 into e raised to minus 5s and this one minus 3. Then after 3, 3 will cancel out. So final Laplace of f dash t that is minus 3 e raised to minus 5s. Okay. Now we will see example number 2. We have to find out the Laplace transform of f of t and Laplace transform of f dash t of f of t equals to sin t by t. So first of all we will find out Laplace transform of f of t. So that is equals to f of s and that is equals to Laplace of sin t by t. So we have to find out Laplace transform of this function using the concept of division by t. So Laplace of f t by t that is integration from s to infinite f s t s and f s is Laplace of f t and over here f t is sin t. So it will become integration from s to infinite Laplace of sin t ds and Laplace of sin et answer is a over s square plus a square here the value of a is 1 so it is integration from s to infinite 1 over s square plus 1 ds now integration of 1 over s square plus 1 according to the formula integration of 1 upon x square plus a square equals to 1 upon a tan inverse x by a so that is tan inverse s because the value of a is 1 so 1 by 1 tan inverse x by 1 and tan inverse s by 1 result is tan inverse s and the limit is s to infinite so for upper limit it will become tan inverse infinite minus for lower limit it will become tan inverse s and tan inverse infinite is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s and tan inverse s plus cot inverse s the result is pi by 2 so pi by 2 minus tan inverse s the result is cot inverse s so cot inverse s that is laplace of sin t by t okay now we will find out laplace of f dash t so laplace of f dash t that is s f of s minus f of 0 s will be as it is and f of s is cot inverse s now we have to find out f of 0 so we have f of t equals to sin t by t so in this function you have to replace t by 0 to find out f of 0 so it will become f of 0 equals to sin 0 by 0 and value of sin 0 is 0 so 0 by 0 that is not defined that is indeterminate form so to evaluate f of 0 we have to find out limit t tends to 0 sin t by t 
and limit t tends to 0 sin d by t. This is the formula and its value is 1. So final Laplace of f dash t is s cot inverse s minus 1. Okay. Now we will see second topic that is Laplace transform of integrals. What is Laplace transform of integrals? If Laplace of ft equals to f of s, then Laplace transform of integration from 0 to t f of t dt, that is f of s by s. This is Laplace transform of integral. Now we will see the proof of this theorem with the help of fundamental definition of Laplace transform. And in the fundamental definition of Laplace transform, we will replace f of t by integration from 0 to t f of t dt. Here you will also find integration from 0 to t f of t dt. We have just replaced f of t by this whole function. An integration from 0 to infinite e raised to minus st. Now this is f of t dt. Okay. Now we are going to find out the integration of this whole function using integrating by parts. Okay. Now, for that purpose, we will take integration from 0 to t f of t dt as u and e raised to minus st as v. So, u will be as it is. Integration from 0 to t f of t dt and integration of v. So, integration of e raised to minus st. Answer is e raised to minus st by minus s. Then after minus sign and the limit is 0 to infinite. Then after minus sign, integration from 0 to infinite. Then after derivative. Derivative of u, that is integration from 0 to t f of t dt. Multiplied by integration of v. And that is e raised to minus st by minus s dt. Now, here you have to put upper limit e raised to minus infinite and e raised to minus infinite is 0 so this one will become 0 and this is f of t and this function is defined for all t greater than or equals to 0 so its integration will be finite value so some finite value multiplied by 0 the result is 0 then after minus sign now for lower limit if you will put lower limit over here so it will become integration from 0 to 0 f of t dt an integration from 0 to 0 f of t dt that will become 0. Then after this minus minus that is equals to plus integration from 0 to infinite this is e raised to minus st and into 1 by s and derivative of integration from 0 to t f t dt that will become f of t dt. Now you can see that this is integration from 0 to infinite e raised to minus st ft dt. So this is nothing but according to the fundamental definition of Laplace transform, Laplace of f of t and divided by s. And Laplace of f of t that is f of s divided by s. So this is the proof of Laplace transform of integrals. Okay. Now we will see some examples related to this topic. So we have example number one. Find the Laplace transform of integration from 0 to t e raised to minus t cos t dt. So according to Laplace transform of derivative, Laplace of integration from 0 to t e raised to minus t cos t dt that will become f of s by s and f of s that is nothing but Laplace of ft. And f of t is e raised to minus t cos t. So we will find out Laplace transform of e raised to minus t cos t. So for that purpose, first of all, we will find out Laplace of cos t. And Laplace of cos t, according to the formula Laplace of cos a t, that is s over s square plus a square, and the value of a is 1. So we have Laplace of cos t equals to s over s square plus 1. Now Laplace of e raised to minus t cos t. So we will apply fst so for fst what we have to do we have to replace s by s plus 1 in the laplace of cos t 
Laplace of cos t is s by s square plus 1. So we have to replace s by s plus 1. So replacing s by s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 the whole square plus 1. s plus 1 as it is. Now applying the formula of a plus b the whole square it will become a square plus 2ab plus b square. So the result is s square plus 2s plus 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is f of s. Now Laplace of integration from 0 to t e raised to minus t cos t dt. That is equals to Laplace of e raised to minus t cos t by s. So this is f of s. Okay. So 1 by s into this f of s is s plus 1 over s square plus 2s plus 2. So final answer is s plus 1 divided by s into s square s cube plus 2s into s 2s square plus 2 into s 2s. Done. Now example number 2 we have to find out the Laplace transform of integration from 0 to t e raised to u into bracket u plus sin u du. So we will apply the concept of Laplace transform of derivative. So first of all we will find out Laplace transform of t plus sin t. So Laplace of t plus sin t that is Laplace of t plus Laplace of sin t and Laplace of t raised to 1 answer is 1 factorial over s square plus Laplace of sin 1t answer is 1 over s square plus 1. Now we will find out Laplace of e raised to t into bracket t plus sin t using first shifting theorem. So in Laplace of t plus sin t we will just replace s by s minus 1 that is 1 over s minus 1 the whole square plus 1 over s minus 1 the whole square plus 1. Now we will find out Laplace transform of integration from 0 to t e raised to u into bracket u plus sin u du. That is according to Laplace transform of integral 1 over s into Laplace of e raised to t into bracket t plus sin t. So this 1 over s will be as it is and Laplace of e raised to t into bracket t plus sin t that is 1 over applying formula of a minus b the whole square over here it will become s square minus 2s plus 1 then after plus 1 over again simplifying these two terms we have s square minus 2s plus 1 plus 1 that is 2. Okay now we will see example number 3. Find the Laplace transform of integration from 0 to t e raised to t sin t by t dt. So its answer will be f of s by s and f of s that will be Laplace transform of this whole function. To find out the Laplace transform of this whole function first of all we will find out Laplace of sin t by t then after we will apply fst. So that will be the Laplace transform of e raised to t sin t by t and finally we will apply the concept of Laplace transform of integrals. Okay. So first of all we will find out Laplace of sin 1t that is 1 over s square plus 1 and Laplace of sin t by t that is according to the concept of division by t that is equals to integration from s to infinite f is ds and f is Laplace of ft and in this case ft is sin t so Laplace of sin t so integration from s to infinite is Laplace of sin t that is 1 over s square plus 1 ds now integration of 1 over s square plus 1 ds according to the formula integration 1 over x square plus a square equals to 1 over a tan inverse x by a answer is tan inverse s because the value of a is 1 and limit is from s to infinite for upper limit infinite it will become tan inverse infinite minus for lower limit s it will become tan inverse s and tan inverse infinite is 5 by 2 minus tan inverse s and we know that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equals to 5 by 2 so we have pi by 2 minus tan inverse s that is equals to cot inverse s. Now Laplace of e raised to t sin t by t we will apply fst. So in Laplace of sin t by t that is cot inverse s we will just replace s by s minus 1. So it will become cot inverse of s minus 1. Now Laplace transform of integration from 0 to t e raised to t sin t by t dt according to the concept of Laplace transform of integral that is equals to 1 over s into Laplace of e raised to t sin t by t. So Laplace of e raised to t sin t by t that is cot inverse s minus 1 
and divided by S. Okay. Now we will see example number four. Find the Laplace transform of integration from zero to t. Integration from zero to t sin a t dt dt. So first of all, we will find out Laplace of sin a t. That is a over s square plus a square. Now Laplace transform of integration from zero to t sin a t dt. That is according to the concept of Laplace transform of integrals. That is f s by s. And f s is Laplace of this sin a t. Okay, so Laplace of sin a t is a over s square plus a square multiplied by one by s. So the answer is a over into bracket s over s square plus a square. Now we will find out Laplace transform of integration from zero to t. Integration from zero to t sin a t dt dt. So according to the Laplace transform of integral. This is equal to one one over s multiplied by Laplace transform of this whole function that is integration from zero to t sine a t d t. Okay, and Laplace transform of integration from zero to t sine a t d t that is nothing but a over s into bracket s square plus a square. Now the final answer is one into a a divided by s into s s square and into bracket s square plus a square. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.